Hey friends, it's Teresa from Star Stylus Homestead. Today, I'm pickling cucumbers. So I have stuff going. Two days ago, I put, hang on, let me show you. I filled this pan about where my middle finger is. Eh, probably my, this finger, this pan. <laughs> um, it's actually about three quarts of cold water with three quarter cup of salt. And then I cut my ends off my pickles. I did this one because I actually cut the wrong end off. <laughs> um, I put a little bit of warm water in there to melt all the salt, just a little, just ch stirred it until I melted it. Then I filled it with um, filtered cold water. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Then I put this bowl on top because it, it kept falling. I laid across the top my bottle in my fridge to keep it down, just to keep my cucumbers submerged in there. So now, because you wanna keep them in there at least 12 hours because I want crispy pickles. I have in my pressure cooker here, and I'm not pressure cooking these, I'm just gonna water bathe them. Um, there's a name for it and I'll have to put it below because I can't remember the name, uh, what it's called. But I've got my thermometer in here, I've got all my jars cleaned and sanitized and they're sitting in here to get warm with my water. Um, have my coffee going. <laughs> and all my stuff ready. Now I'm gonna start making, this was the brine, this is what's gonna go into my pickles, what I'm getting ready to make now. So let me get all that stuff really set up and once I do, I'll be back. Okay friends, I'm back. Okay, I've got eight cups of water in my pan here, I'm gonna bring this up to a good simmer. Um, I need six cups of distilled white vinegar, 5%, there's four. Um, I'm gonna get two more. Okay, and there's two more. Then we need a quarter cup of sugar. Forgot my cups over here. Let's see. Quarter cup of sugar and a half a cup of salt. It's a lot of salt, ain't it? <laughs> okay. Of course, the only one I don't have here is my quarter. I don't know where that is. So, let's just use a half a half. <laughs> okay, quarter cup of sugar. And then all that yummy salt. And I'm using the cannon and pickle and salt. You want a good salt. So, let's pour this in. I think I need to invest in another one of those, one of the big Tupperware containers to put this in. I don't like just leaving them sitting in the boxes. Besides the fact it's a pain in the rump to get out. So another nice day here. I just got out of the pool. Okay. It's a half cup of salt. And then we need one tablespoon of pickle and spices. I got this off of Amazon, so that's the one I'm going to use. Let's put this, and we want this not directly in there. We are going to actually get some cheesecloth, which I don't have. Um, so I got a nice clean white t-shirt, and I'm going to put a tablespoon my God, that smells yummy. I've never smelled them before. A good tablespoon. 
right inside. I cut the t-shirt up, by the way. Um, let me show you through all this mess here. And I'm going to tie this up somehow. Nice and tight so it doesn't come out. So we'll tie both sections. Good thing I cut that big. That's the other end. <laughs> I was looking for my cheesecloth and I couldn't find it and I got frustrated so I gave up. Okay, there's that. We'll tie that and then we'll tie this because you don't want it to come out in the water. Okay, that should be good, yeah? It's tied. Both are tied. Let's see, I'm going to tie this one again. Better be safe than sorry, right? Okay, now we have it in there. And that is going to go right in there also. So, let's see, front, we're going to put this on and we're going to continuously stir this. Um until all the sugar and salt is melted, uh, melted, <laughs> dissolved. And this is what's going to go into our pickles along with our spices that we put in the jars. So all my jars are in there, like I said, okay? And my pickles are right here. I'm getting ready to cut them up. I will bring you over there because we got to get this ready and the jars ready. For the pickles for when this is done to get it in there and we have to bring this water up to which is why i have my thermometer in here we need this once the pickles go in there at between 180 and 185 for 30 minutes so we got to be very specific i'm going to turn that up just a little bit more because that's only at 140 just to start getting that a little hotter <laughs> um because then it's all gonna come together. We've gotta to put them in there, let them water bathe for 30 minutes at 180 to 185. So let me swap this all over to my messy counter over there and I'll be right back. All right, friends, I'm back. I'm back again. Okay, now I've got my jars all set. I wish I could do this where I could see you guys or, or you see me, whatever I see me. <laughs> now I'm getting my jars ready. I am going to put, I'm not sure how many jars it's going to take, one clove of garlic in every jar. They're all sanitized and ready to go. Okay, we're putting all our spices in now. So, so many. I've only got eight jars. I'm hoping that my I get at least eight jars and I don't need more. Then we're going to put one teaspoon of whole dill seed in each jar. I think it's a bummer that I can't taste these for a couple weeks. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to have one teaspoon of mustard seed. Wow, can I not pour? Hmm. I got to do this carefully. I'm good at overdoing, and I don't want to overdo this. First time I've ever made these, so. Oops. Did I just, I don't think I did. If I did, that one's going to be strong. <laughs> not sure if I got two in there or not. Nah, that looks about right. Joanne, tell me if you noticed. I hope you don't mind me picking on you. I just do it out of fun. Because you really do. You always catch me. <laughs> And I'm going to put this down after this one. Because i got to stir. Hold on. That's coming to a nice simmer. Okay. Now, those are all ready. They're still warm. I've got that heating up. 
It's at almost 150 right now, but now I have to cut my pickles. So, and we want this to all come together at the same time. We want it to, anyway. Um, so, I want to do mine. Let me bring them over here. You don't want them to exceed the half inch head space on your jars either. So, you want to measure when those are going to be perfect. <laughs> um, I am actually going to cut mine into sandwich pickles so that I can make those sandwiches that I made. Um, oh, these cut nice. So that I can lay them on the sandwiches because I couldn't find them in the store. So I'm doing them nice slices like that. And you want to get as many as you can in there. I'm even going to put this piece in because I think that's going to be nice and crispy, crunchy. Let's see that one. Let's take. So, I don't know. I think I might have, should have used my fatter jars. I'm getting one pickle in this. Really? One pickle? I might have to change some jars. Well, no, I'll just do that because um, I'm not doing them all this way. So I'm going to cut them into the small round ones too. Oh, totally missed that one on the knife. Look what I did. Oops. They're still going to be edible, right? Absolutely. So, let's stick these all in here. See, I can get two pickles in this. That was just a big pickle. Yeah, see? So I'm going to cut another small one up and shove that in here. Let's see. We'll do this one. You stir. I'm hoping... Tad bit more. It's still only at 150. So, have you guys ever made pickles? I haven't, and I've wanted to for the last couple of years. So, my son did these pick these cucumbers for me, so that I could. Let's see. Let me take this edge back edge out. Put these in. And yeah, I definitely should have used the wider. I would have got more in them. But put those in the other one. That's not bad. There. Crammed it in there. Yeah, so anyway. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them round. I guess it would make more sense if I showed you what I was doing, huh? I don't know how thick they're supposed to be, but I'm just going to do them about a quarter of an inch. It's my first time. I just wanted to share it with you all. That one's good. This was the leftover piece I just cut from the other one. And I might, I might have, yeah, these are, definitely should have used the other jars. <laughs> well, now I know, right? Now I know for the next time. I can get a couple more little ones in there. So, tell me, if you see me doing this, tell me what I'm doing wrong, if, if you all know. We'll find out, because in a couple weeks, we're going to be opening. 
we're going to be opening some of these. <laughs> Hey. Mm, these were good too because me and Ruth have been eating them right out of the garden. I probably should have shared the. Nah, it's easier to get them in like that. <laughs> that, one, that one's going to be too far up. That's good. Oh no, I can get that. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, guys. I can get another one in there. There we go. Get them in there, Teresa. And then I gotta get the air out of them. Oh, see? I got some in there. How about that? I got that whole pickle. Maybe. Yep. Whole pickle, my friends. Okay, I'm not going to make you watch paint dry here. Um. Ouch! Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, that smells really good with that spices in there. Let me turn this down. Actually, turn it off. This is coming up. I am gonna grab my other my vinegar again. And oh, I guess it don't matter. I need the liquid in there, so I can't put my lids on. Oh yes, I can <laughs> because that's too. That's done, that's boiling. So, what I'll do is grab my handle. Yep, clean. I am going to grab my jar and this and fill it. And then what I'm gonna do is take the air out. Look, that air's coming right out of that. I'll do these four, and then I'll let you go, and before I do anything else, I'll bring you back. Three. It smells really good in here. I didn't think there'd be any smell. Oh, I think I might have over overdid that one a little bit. Okay, now, oh, I'm gonna get the air bubbles out of here. See all those air bubbles coming out? We definitely want those out. Oh, I guess you would have to see bring you down a little bit. Baby! Oh yeah. I'm going to put you down a little so I don't have to hold it up like that. Get them out of this one along with some of that liquid because that's too full. I'm just going to put that, no sense in wasting it, right? I'm going to put it in this one. I need more liquid in that one. I already did those two, that's why. Okay, I'm gonna just put a little bit more. I want the liquid right up to here.
All righty. And now, my friends, we're going to clean the tops off. I use white vinegar for all my tops. I know some you can use water. I choose to use vinegar. My preference. So, get back in there. I'm going to put the lids on and close them up and then stick them right in the um, the big water bed bather and then as soon as it gets up to 180 degrees that's when 180 185 that's when I'll start my 30 minute timer I'll be back all right friends let me turn you and show you okay I'm bringing this to 180 and as soon as that gets to 180 I have them all in there so start my timer um, and do them for 30 minutes and when they're all done I'll come back and I'll show you and in two weeks I'll do an update because I'm going to open one of those. I had to actually get one more jar because I had just enough for nine jars. But I got the wide one decided to do um, spears. And of course I ran out. Anyway, I, I'm going to go sit and enjoy my coffee and go kiss on my, my uh, nephew that just showed up. And I'll be back when this is ready. Okay, friends. Third time's a charm get this over with. They're all done. They sat for 30 minutes in 180 um, degree water in my water bath. They all sealed. Um, they'll sit there 12 to 16 hours and tomorrow I'll take the lids off them, the, the rings off of them, <laughs> clean up the jars not that they're not already cleaned after sitting in that water for 30 minutes or over an hour. Um, and then I will put them up on the shelf for two weeks. Let me see if I can flip this camera without it messing up on me again. There we go. Um, might pause like that. Anyway, I'm going to finish this video so I can upload you. Um, it was really easy, really easy. I'm hoping they come out good. I will update this video in two weeks when I open one of them. My last jar, let me show you. It's not too hot. I'm not supposed to be picking it up, but it wasn't completely full. You can see this side. I only had two, two uh, cukes left on that one, but now, look at this. I need to go clean my mess. I made dinner. <laughs> I need um, Monte Cristo's for my sister-in-law tonight, and I have a mess in here, so now it's time to go clean. So anyway, I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for being here. I hope you guys try them. They look really good, and I'm kind of excited. I hope they come out really good because we have a lot more cukes coming, and I want to try sweet ones. These are dill. I want to try sweet pickles next, so we'll see. Anyway, thanks for being here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And welcome to all you new people. I really appreciate you guys being here. And I'm looking forward to a lot of fun days. So I'll see you guys again soon. Adios.